Elvis there. I could listen to Elvis all day. Actually, I, I, I am a big Elvis fan because I just, you know, you could, you could listen to that every day for like forever. And what I would do with the higher levels of ESL, I would say, why do you think, and so I'd write a question on the board, why do you think that uh, young ladies of the 1950s and the 1960s were willing to travel wherever Elvis was going. Why were they so excited about it? And I would ask them to write a sentence. If you notice on the uh, handout that I gave you about the pictures of Elvis, the very last thing I put on the back of it is, I like Elvis because. Now, every level can do that. You just have to kind of structure that for them. You have to say, give them some examples. So I might write an example on the board. I might say, My sentence is, I like Elvis because he is a good singer. You might do something where you write all of that and you take out the word singer. I like Elvis because he is a good blank. And you ask your student, what do you think? Somebody might say, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, are you trying to say look like he is handsome? Oh, okay, you give them the word handsome. And then you talk to them about handsome is for a man and pretty or beautiful is for a woman. Those types of things there. Something else to point out with the songs, though, and please understand this, because I've had the opposite happen to me, and it can be a problem for you. You have to pick songs that people can hear the words clearly. So that's why you see me using songs. I use songs from years ago, and the songs that I use that are current songs, I use country music. Because those songs people can hear. You know, sometimes I've had some other teachers say to me, oh, you know what, I like this really loud song, or the loud. It is what it is, but if they can't hear it, if they can't understand, think, I don't know how many of you have ever heard a song in another language. When I hear someone singing it slowly, I say, oh, okay, you know what, I kind of get the theme of it, you know? But if it's going at a fast speed, I can't understand any of it. The same thing for all of your students. Okay? So Elvis, lots of good opportunities, and once again, I would come back to the photos, and I would say, what's Elvis wearing, what's Elvis doing, all of that. You know, you could probably just teach ESL with Elvis and skip everything else. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that's in your law back system over here. <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, uh, the next one we're going to take a look at, this is another one surprisingly really great, is the Beach Boys. It's uh, a song called In My Room. A great song for teaching. Surprisingly, I've, I've probably heard that song, you know, thousands of times. As a young man, I didn't know I could ever use it for teaching, but at, you know, I always tell my students I work for them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that means that if I get an idea, I can use it as a jumping point. So that's what this is. Um, in my room, I, I've given you a couple of handouts as well on the back of that song. Let me get to that. That's this one right here, real short song. Really only uh, three or four paragraphs. Got a lot of vocabulary, however, in it. Um, but I would do this first. This is about the bedroom on the back of it. And I'd probably go over these words one by one and say, okay, bed, pillow, blanket, lamp, uh, clock radio, kind of what's in a bedroom. That's probably what would be my starting point for something like that. I also tell them that this song is about a man's special room. This is about a man's special room, so I write that on the board. So I would say, what is your special room? Which room do you like best in your home? Do you like, what is, and I have low level ESL, what are some of the rooms? Oh, teacher, kitchen. Okay, good. Oh, teacher, garage. Good. Okay. And I would take that and I would ask the student, well, which one of those rooms do you like the best? And I've had several students say, I like the kitchen the best. And I would say, why? And they would say, because my family helps me with cooking and I do things in that room. Okay, great. Let's listen to his room. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is tell me about what is special in his room. Now, surprisingly, when you look at the lyrics of this, it has a couple high-level vocabulary words. So you probably, 
You can either front load it and tell them about it in the beginning, like there's a line that says, do my dreaming and my scheming. So I, what I always do with that, with level one and two, is I'll write it on the board. <laughs> Uh, I like to share with them that scheme and plan is almost the same. They almost have the same meaning. And if it's a higher level group, someone who's been doing it for a while, I like to well, scheme and plan are kind of synonyms of each other, words that mean just about the same. Let's see if we can go through this song and find other words that maybe you can give me a second word for. So let's listen to the song.